hi guys so as you can see by the title your girl is going on a date guys this is like my first real date since having my daughter my daughter's about to be two i was pregnant for nine months which means i haven't been on a date for like three years <laughs> or even longer and yeah i'm going on a first date i did go on a date last year but i don't consider it a real date like even though it was amazing i had such a fun time um the reason why i don't consider it a real date is because it was a blind date like i had never met him before and um literally never met him never spoke to him didn't know what he looked like like my friend literally just set me up wait one second so sorry i'm so 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 dry right now like i'm beyond dry but anyway so yeah um i went on a date last year but it was a completely blind date didn't know what he looked like didn't know anything about him um but the date was amazing but because I didn't like meet him myself I didn't really consider it a real date and yeah that was the only time we went on the date it was amazing and everything but at that particular time I just wasn't really ready to date like my friend was just like oh just go please for me blah 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 so I went and it was amazing like I don't regret it one bit um I need to I need to move a bit slow because if I move quick that's when everything goes wrong but if I move slow everything goes perfect Sorry, again, I need to do this. So yeah, um, so that, I didn't really consider that as a real date, but, and then obviously, if you guys watched like my previous video, you would know that I was actually seeing someone before, and, but this that was someone I've known for years, like literally since secondary school. So again, that just doesn't count. So this is my first real date with someone like, I don't know, I don't know his background, but I don't know. I went out Saturday, it's now Tuesday. I went out Saturday, sorry, everything's just so dry. I went out Saturday and that's where I met him. And yeah, we've been FaceTiming and stuff since then, having little combos here and there, but I still don't really like, I don't actually know him like at all. I know what he does for a living, I know his age, I know when his birthday is. <laughs> um, I know he can fight <laughs> because on the day that I met him, oh gosh let me tell you guys this fucking story is so funny so on the day that i met him we it was like some birthday party and then afterwards we're all just outside everyone's just like getting their cabs and stuff waiting to go home and he was like he was just standing there and at this time i was actually talking to another guy i can tell you guys this because he asked what my youtube channel was and i didn't tell him what it was so i'm gonna tell you guys this so yeah i was actually standing there talking to some other guy and then i just hear like a little commotion going on beside me so when i finally got the chance to speak to him the next day he was like how oh, he was just standing there minding his business then some boy goes to him i should bang you in the face right now and he was just like sorry what <laughs> he was like what huh he was like you heard me i should punch you in the face right now and he was like, do you think I'm a waste man or something? And then the guy was like, yes, I do think you're a waste man. And then that's where I started to hear and see what was going on. He was like, yeah, I do think you're a waste man. And then I think that's the guy like swung at him first. And then they started fighting. And what was so sexy about that moment, guys, I actually don't like, let me make this clear. I don't like hood guys. I don't like guys who are aggressive or, any, aggressive or anything like that. But for some reason, seeing him take on 20 guys by himself was the most attractive thing I've ever seen. Like to see him hold his own, I was even more attracted to him so um yeah like guys i'm going on the first date for like the first time in like two years or whatever like with someone brand new like someone i've never met before this is just such a surreal moment so i'm really excited um i love dating and um because i feel like i'm such a fun person today like whenever i leave a date right i'm always like that was so amazing and then i realize a few days later you know what that was so amazing because of me like i'm actually such a fun person today so um i always have such good times on dates um guys my hair isn't finished being laid by the way so if it looks a bit crazy right now it's because i'm not done you know what let me finish my hair because i'm gonna i want to listen to some music i want to um honestly some music i want to and I need to use the blow dryer and I want to talk to you guys at the same time but I can't do that if I am um, blowing my hair so let me finish my hair real quick and um, just finish like laying everything down and then once that's done we'll talk about men like I feel like I can I don't really like talking about men too tough because they don't deserve my energy 
but seeing as i'm going on a date with a guy like we might as well just talk about guys talk about what it is i like what it is i'm attracted to what it is i'm looking for and yada 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 guys it's 9 p.m my date's at 11 p.m but i actually wanted it to be that late we're going back to the place where we met because it was like some lounge bar restaurant and it was just such a nice vibe and at the party i was actually eating food and i was enjoying my food and i didn't get to finish it so i want to go back and finish my food and then have the cocktails the cocktails were banging like everything was just so good um but yeah wish me luck i'm gonna be back and when i come back my hair my my hair's gonna be laid but i'll curl it with you guys and everything because i want to take you guys on this moment with me getting ready for my first date or whatever and yeah i didn't even introduce myself hi for those of you that are new here i'm delicia london and my skin is always this dry this is just what i look like but yeah i'm gonna be back guys hi guys i'm back and my hair is kind of done not really done i need to um put my iron on my head do my makeup and then i will be able to finish this front part of my hair i'm not too sure but yeah um still excited <laughs> still very excited i am so what was i even saying guys what was i even saying um the way I don't do, I just don't, I did my hair so good the other night and, but now today it's just not really working out how it worked out the other night. I'm not too sure why that is, but we'll see. Okay, let me go do my makeup and then, oh, do you know what I didn't do? I didn't tie my head. So, guys, I'm going on a date. Can you fucking believe it? So my skin was like proper breaking out for a few weeks yeah and um i remembered that the the shop i go to to get my skincare stuff they gave me like this little thing to try let me show you guys properly um let's my face and let me show you guys is that too high that's fine so as I was saying, so my skin was like proper breaking up. Is that too high? One sec, guys. And my skin was like proper breaking out recently. And the skincare shop I go to to like buy my facial products and stuff, they gave me this thing. And when I say the next day, my skin already started to clear up. Whereas before I've been like struggling to clear my skin up for such a long time. But this has really, really helped. And I was finishing, I went there today to actually buy the real thing, but um, they were closed. So this tiny bit is just gonna have to do. Um, I, can, I feel like the sides of my hair is lifting up. Let me, I need to sort my hair out properly, guys. I don't understand what's happening. Yeah, I feel like the sides, let me just double check that it's quarter to 10 so i have 45 minutes to get ready luckily i do my makeup really quickly like like really 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 <laughs> do my makeup really quickly like 20 minutes and my hair is basically done it only takes me 20 minutes to get to the restaurant um but yeah i would like to have like a good 15 minutes where i'm ready and i don't need to leave the house just to like you know Oh, I forgot to put my eyelashes on, guys. I need to put my eyelashes on and then I'm gonna come back. Sorry, guys, I had to switch to a towel because um, that robe is just too silky for me right now. And I did my eyelashes like kind of, um, so I just use these. And sometimes I just put them on like that, but today I put them on like going diagonally to kind of give me like a cat eye. And I use this glue, but it's a bit watery. So it was kind of hard to do that today. Um, but yeah, what was I about to say? I can't remember what I said. Let me wash this sponge real quick. Guys, I just, <laughs> I can't believe I'm going on the day right now. Do you know one thing I don't like about dating, right? Like I really want to start dating but i'm dating with a purpose like i hope everyone knows that i'm dating to get married and i'm not dating to just date like when i was younger i used to date because i just enjoyed free food 
<laughs> no, my eyes are oh, they're too sticky. Um, <laughs> I'm not even gonna lie to you guys. I would go on dates with guys I know I fully didn't like when I was younger. This one I was like, just young, you know, living life. Whereas now, obviously, I've got kids. I'm not dating for the sake of dating. Like, I much rather be at home with my daughter. So I just really hate for the fact for me to start dating. I actually have to go outside and meet people because I'm such a homebody. Like to meet someone, I actually have to dress up and leave my house and be going somewhere whereas i much rather be home so that's the only thing i don't like about dating and um i also don't like the talking stage like i'd much rather a guy didn't text me like please don't text me i just hate boring text conversations like, i really i hate it i i, I don't like that's my biggest pet peeve my biggest pet peeve like hey hey we doing nothing new nothing what now? Don't text me. <laughs> like I'd much rather a guy just straight up FaceTime me. Like I don't care if you just met me. I'd rather a guy just FaceTime me. So I just feel like the whole talking stage is just so long and tedious. What is going on right now? There's something on my leg. Yeah, I just feel like the talking stage is just so long and so boring and tedious. So when I date, yeah, I think I'm really fun to date because I love to make people just feel comfortable straight away and i'm like really flirtatious and just really touchy and just make him feel real good about himself like this guy i'm going on a date with today i was like to him oh like, i love i love to flirt and i love to i love to make men feel good like um yeah i love to make men feel good so i was just like to him ah oh, let me know on a scale of one to ten like how sexy do you want me to look tonight <laughs> I love a bit of flirting I do like it just makes things so chilled and so comfy and just laid back and just like just not forced like I feel like it's such a good icebreaker to do little things like that so I was just like to him like how sexy do you want me to look tonight and he was like 25 out of 10 he was like 25 <laughs> I don't know how sexy I'm gonna look like obviously I'm not gonna look like a whore or like I'm here to do anything but I'm just letting him know, like, you know, I got a little sun sun going on. Like, I want him to to think, damn, like, she looks good. Um, I went to Zara today to try and, like, buy an outfit because I didn't actually have anything at home. And I was so let down. Like, guys, I left Zara and I didn't want to pick one thing up. Like, there was not a single thing in there that was intriguing to me or that I wanted so I had to just, well, I'm just gonna wear like a little pink dress and some pink heels. Well, I really wanna wear my pink heels because they're really comfortable. And the older I get, the more I value my comfort over just looking good. So I've just got this pink dress that will go with my heels. And um, yeah, I'm just gonna wear that. I'm not doing too much. And what else was I gonna say? I don't like this sponge, you know, I don't feel like it, it blends my makeup well. Whereas this broken one actually blends my makeup better, so I'm just gonna wash it as well. The other day, I was like sitting, chilling, having a conversation with God, and just like thinking about the type of guy I want. And I was just saying to him, like, I was just like, Do you know what, God? Give me the man I need and not the man I want. Because clearly, the man I want isn't what's right for me. Like, Usually I like guys who are young, you know, around my age. I don't mind the guy that the last guy I was seeing was like three years younger than me, but he was doing really, 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 really well for himself. Um, yeah, I normally go for guys who are younger because I just feel like they're just fun and they got some energy and um, I like that. And But when you go for a guy who's younger than you, you're also compromising on like what's it called um your sanity <laughs> and yeah like stability like guys who are young just want to have fun and even though like i want to have fun i don't think fun is what i need at this particular moment in my life like i'm i'm getting older i'm 26 next month and i've got a child like fun is not what i need so i was just talking to god and telling him like the kind of man i want and i was just saying you know what 
god don't even listen to what i want like give me what i need and when you send me what i need please let me recognize that you've sent him to me and that you're saying this is what i need for myself and not some young fly boy because usually that's what i go for i go for guys who are like young fly money but they're just not serious or they're just not on what i'm on in terms of like wanting to settle down start a family buy a house like just do real grown adult things which is honestly if i'm being 100 percent honest i'm at that stage in my life where that's what i want for myself like i've dated for many many years i've been in several relationships i've got a kid i'm not in a relationship with the father of my child like it's time for me to settle down like i've had my fun i was talking to my cousin today and um she's been in a relationship she was in a relationship for like eight years so she didn't really get the chance to date when she was younger because majority of her child not her childhood but majority of her teenage years and early 20s was spent in a relationship so she's at a place in her life where she just wants to date like she just wants to know what it's like to actually date and get to know people and test the waters and see what you actually want whereas i'm at a place in my life where it's like i don't even want to date for too long like i would be happy if this guy that i meet today is going to be my future husband and that's it <laughs> hopefully he doesn't see this video and think this girl's nuts but i'm just being honest with you guys like i just don't want to put in the time or the effort or the energy or whatever it takes to actually meet someone because i have other things that i want to do like dating is not my priority and to be honest with you i wasn't even supposed to meet this guy because me going out saturday was very 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 random like that came out of nowhere i had no intentions like that day i cleaned my whole entire house like i did a serious spring cleaning and then i took my steak out of the freezer I was getting ready to make my dinner i was sitting down and then my friend called me like oh xyz is having a party tonight like do you want to go and I was like, yeah, might as well, I don't have Imani, like, might as well go out and just have a good night. And then I was like, you know what, if I meet someone, that's good. If I don't, whatever. Um, but yeah, so I'm just, um, I have no idea what I'm talking about right now. But yeah, basically just trying to say to you guys, like, what I'm looking for right now is I'm actually looking for, I wouldn't say I'm looking for something serious because I'm not actively going out of my way to meet men. Like if I meet someone, I meet someone and I will let them know straight up. Like I'm not here for, like obviously I'm here to get to know you, but I'm dating purposefully. So like if you're not on what I'm on from the jump, then there's actually no point us talking to one another because what i'm on is eventually like whatever it is we're doing lead into something a little bit more serious because i can't do this dating thing forever i have one talking stage left in me and then the next thing on my list is marriage <laughs> like i literally have one talking stage left in me just one i do not have the time or the energy to talk to anyone like i actually don't like one talking stage left after this boy mate i'm done like I'm, I'm actually tapping out i would like to if it doesn't work out i would like someone to just do an arranged marriage for me i will meet my husband at the altar like i just don't have the energy to actually go out of my way to meet anyone like it's actually it's not a vibe it's too much it takes up so much energy anyway let me tell you guys the type of guys that i like so if you know me already in fact if you followed me on twitter before i even say what my type is i beg you comment below what my type is who my type is like if you follow me on twitter this question should be so easy for you like you should know exactly who i'm about to say so i can't lie to you guys like my type is and has always been fredo for as long for as long as i lived even before i knew fredo existed my type was fredo like that just just him but i've never dated anyone that looks like that well i dated one guy um when i was like 18 19 who kind of who actually looks like fredo but he was from essex so he didn't have fredo's edge like he wasn't rough um yeah he's from essex if you know what essex is then you know they're not exactly rough are they they're kind of pretty boys around there but he looks like fredo so that's what my type is um 
but aside from that i still every guy i've been with has been the typical dark skin or not even not my ex was dark two of my exes were dark but um like just black guys i don't care about height you know like the other day i gave some guy my number and he was like here but i realized within that conversation i was like crouched like trying to make myself smaller <laughs> to speak to him um so maybe i do care about height because even though i gave him my number i haven't really given him any attention like, i haven't paid him the time of day because maybe he is too short like maybe he actually is just a bit too short for me. um the last guy i was seeing was really tall which was quite nice it was quite <laughs> it was quite nice it was a change it's a change for me to date someone tall i just like my men to have money but another thing I have learned in recent years is money isn't everything. Like, if you want a guy with money, what you really, really need, what you, if you know you like men with money, that's not what you actually want. What you want is someone who's generous. So stop saying you want men with money because God has done me dirty a million and one times where he sent me a man with money, but he's not generous. So what's the point? Like, what is actually the point of this person? So that's one thing I've learned that I don't actually, I like men with money because I know that they can take care of themselves. Um, but I don't need a guy to take care of me. I want a guy to want to take care of me or want to treat me good, but I don't need him to. But yeah, one thing I've learned is um, we don't want men with money. We want men who are generous and who want to take care of us and who want to spoil us. So that's one thing I've definitely learned. So I like a generous man, a giving man, a loving man, a family man. I just love, I like men. Like as much as I say, I do go, go for guys who are younger than me. Those guys are usually, I need to stop saying I go for guys younger than me. I don't go for guys younger than me. I dated one person that was younger than me. And because of him, it makes me feel like maybe I would like more guys younger than me because he just had energy. <laughs> like he just had a lot of energy and I kind of liked that. Um, yeah, I like. I just kind of liked what's it called i liked the fact he had energy so i don't like guys to be younger than me but if you're if you are going to be younger than me you still have to just remind me of a man like i like a man that makes me feel protected makes me feel safe just makes me feel like i have nothing to worry about like he will handle it all like he can hold his own like i just love a what time is it guys oh oh my god i need to I have to leave in 15 minutes guys oh my gosh okay i'm sorry i clearly i can't talk because i swear to god it only takes me like 20 minutes to do my makeup i should have been done by now so clearly i can't um film and do my makeup at the same time so i'm just gonna finish off my makeup guys and then i'm gonna come back to show you my little outfit and um my finished look and yeah what blush should i wear should I go for like rosy cheeks? I'm gonna go for like these two pinks. I just realized I didn't dust off my, what's it called? This thing, I didn't dust it off. My makeup is so basic. Like I would love for my makeup to just be like a little bit more than basic, but I look pretty, so it doesn't really matter wish me well on my date if it doesn't go well i'm blaming youtube i'm blaming the fact that i disclosed the fact i'm going on a date because you know people are red eye like you'll say something like you know you'll be talking to a boy and be going perfect and then the minute you tell your friends about him everything goes fucked it just goes tits up i feel like that might happen with this but anyway let's just if it doesn't work out i'll let you guys know and if it does work out i'm not saying anything but i'll try not to anyway i talk too much I'm, also, I'm nervous i'm actually nervous i'm never nervous why am i nervous i just actually fancy him like i don't find anyone besides my daughter's dad the guy i was seeing and the guy i was seeing last attractive so for me to find a man attractive it's like oh my god this is new <laughs> what like this is so new for me so i'm just a bit like I'm intrigued like why do I find you attractive when I say to you guys I don't find anybody attractive if you're not the father of my child or the person I was seeing recently I don't find him attractive anymore anyway he's ugly to me now but um yeah like it's so weird like actually like I look at him and I think mm, you're a bit of me like the son about you you're a bit like mmm 
hopefully he hasn't seen this video i swear to god if he sees it i'm gonna cry <laughs> but yeah let me finish getting ready guys and i shall um show you the finished look okay so hair is done i feel like my makeup looks a little bit like white and i think it's because i put on a different foundation to what i normally wear because i just i feel i feel yellow i don't feel chocolatey and i normally look chocolatey when i put my makeup on um this eye is a little bit irritating let me just show you guys what i'm wearing something really 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 simple literally let me show you but i look pretty in the face oh let me put some lip gloss on first actually um that is so dry i love this dior lip glow oil I can't put anything else on my lips like i can only put like clear gloss because my lips are massive so colored lipstick doesn't suit me like i have to always just have like clear gloss on um i'm wearing heels he's 5'11 and in heels i think i'm like 5'11 <laughs> or like 5'10 because how how high would you say these heels are so i'm 5'6 and this is the heel i'm wearing and i don't know if i'm gonna be like too tall i don't wanna well i stood next to him in these heels this is i was wearing these heels when i met him um and the height was fine i think if i can remember correctly it was dark but um i think it was okay but yeah i've just got this little dress on which matches my nails guys i literally had nothing to wear i know you guys see me do hauls all the time so you probably think what is this girl talking about she doesn't have anything to wear but honestly genuinely i had nothing to wear so I've just got this little dress on. As you can see, I'm giving body yaddy 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 yaddy. Hey! Um, the problem is my nipples. This one is asleep. This one's awake. Face looks cute or oh, whatever. Let me put my heels on so we can see the finished look. And I can be extra and wear my pink Prada bag, or I could just you know not do that, which I think I'm not going to do. <laughs> Let me, um, uh, let me get my tripod so these are the heels you know pretty pink fresh toast i'm sorry i'm here for this all pink look and do you know why i'm here for it because it screams my personality and it screams what my favorite color is like me i'm a very pink girl so what you see is literally what you get so i'm not changing my outfit this lets him know who i am through and through like i'm a very very pink girl i love pink it's my colour. I don't care. I'm so hungry right now. Oh my gosh. And do you know what I'm not looking forward to? So, you know, when you're at a date and it's just like, so, um, have you got me? Like, you know what I mean when I say that in terms of who the hell is paying for this meal? Oh, I hate oh, dating is so annoying. It should be like an unwritten rule where men just know they are paying, especially on the first date. In my old relationship, I literally paid for everything. Like, the more I look back on it, the more I just think I was being used. Honest to God, I paid for everything. Every meal, everything, everything. I'm not even joking. Guys, I don't know why I did that. No, I do know I did that. I did that because I wanted to go out to eat. <laughs> I wanted to go out to eat and him not wanting to pay wasn't going to stop me from going out to eat. What I should have done was not take him. I should have took myself. That's what I should have done. But let me not badmouth him because he was a great guy and I was the bitch in that situation. So yeah. If he sees this, then he knows. He knows. He knows. He knows I'm talking about him. I bought myself some really, really pretty pink roses. You guys know I love to buy myself flowers. That's what they look like. They're just matching everything. Um so yeah, I'm thinking just Gucci bag because it just makes the most sense yeah it's cute okay my dress is not that short really oh the bag's cold um yeah, this is a cute little i think it's a coat for where we're going this is a, a cute fit i might even be a bit overdone um but it's still cute 
he said he wanted me to look 25 out of 10 so i have to give that to him if you know what i mean like i had to show him let me show you guys oh let me show you what perfume i'm gonna wear so i'm gonna wear this perfume it's pen halligan's ellen Nija. if you want a man to notice you and to want you and for when you walk by you want him to be able to smell you i highly 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 recommend this perfume like you are not gonna go wrong with this perfume like not at all it is so gorgeous it's so long lasting as well like, i smell i smell like flowers and just sweetness and goodness and i just smell good right now but like, i literally smell so so good so i'll wear that i'm thinking do i add like one more perfume on top or do i just let this just do its thing if i'm gonna add another perfume i think i want something that's just as sweet so maybe should do i can't really remember what it smells like no it's not Oh my gosh, the Pen Halligan's perfume makes everything else smell so rubbish. Okay, maybe this YSL, what's it called? Libre? Intense Libre, something like that. You know what, I'm just going to wear the Pen Halligan because she is giving, like she, she does what she needs to do. Guys, how pretty do I look for my first date? I'm about to go fill myself up. The food is like it's like it's it's basically like a she shisha lounge. So I think it's like Lebanese food, I think it is. So I'm just gonna go eat. They close at 1.30. I'm gonna eat, I'm gonna drink, and I'm gonna just I'm gonna flirt till like I can't flirt no more. And yeah, I'm just about to, you know, I'm back on the dating game. If you have a brother or an uncle who's rich that you want to hook me up with then <laughs> i'm joking i'm not joking really like if he is rich and generous then i'm not even joking but yeah guys thank you so much for watching today's video i hope you enjoyed it and wish me luck like i said if it doesn't go well i'm blaming you lot because why wouldn't it go well i'm hoping he's fun i'm hoping he's not quiet he does seem quite mellow which is what i always which is what i've always been with in the past but I don't like it like I actually don't like mellow guys I don't want someone rowdy but I want someone funny and that you know likes to talk like I normally go for guys that don't like talking they're so odd because I like to have a bit of chit chat here and there and I like to I hate being the one to carry the conversation so I'm just hoping it just goes well like I'm hoping it goes well I'll try to get a picture for my thumbnail hopefully he sorry i had to kill a fly um <laughs> i'm gonna get him to take a picture of me for my thumbnail so if you see the thumbnail you guys know that he, and it, i'm outside then he definitely took it for me um but yeah i don't even know what time it is now and i'm here rambling on what if he's there i don't want him waiting i don't like keeping people waiting okay i actually need to leave now so i'm gonna go ah, i'm nervous i'm nervous guys oh my god i don't want to go anymore Oh, I don't want to go anymore. Okay, let me stop being nervous. Okay, bye guys.